All right, Kurt Curtis. Yo. 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 Yo, your internet look clean uptown. Yo. <laughs> one, one. Mean, my dear family, my internet is the worst of the worst. I poor line with that and the internet terrible, may I tell you. Oh, my God. So you can't stay too long. No, look here. I watch the whole class from this very spot, so I can't move. Oh, you can't move? I can't move. It should be all, all right. right. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, you were listening to Kurt a while ago, and the last part we're talking about visas. What do you feel can go on for the visa thing for the artists that went on a visa? <clears throat> well, I tell you this. A lot of people would have seen Shaggy's post. Shaggy post up earlier, um, you know, kind of trying to get everybody to lobby the powers that be towards doing something to get back the visa. Stop right there. And Stop right there. You said lobby. Big up lobby chooses screw. Big up lobby chooses. <laughs> yeah, he does right. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, basically, here what's up now? The, the, um, the, the, the Instagram, Instagram post that he, that he posted has caused a whole flurry of activity. There are people that are in power in the United States that are working with the diplomatic thing, and they weren't even aware that certain people like Beanie and Monty did not have access, right? And not everybody's in the know and not everybody's up to date. So it has actually stirred up some stuff. I got phone calls this morning. Um, I've been involved in trying to kind of get not a lot of people don't even know why they don't have it. Like what caused, what led to them not get not having it, and um, and as a result, I I I am very optimistic that something good will come out of it. You know, I think that okay. in the, okay. like in, in in the case of Bujavantan, I think it's a bit difficult. I don't think there's anything anybody can really do about that. But um, but certainly for somebody like Beanie Man, I don't I, you know I can't really. I mean, I'm bounty killer. I can't, those guys are, right now, they're model citizens. They're supporting cult, culture, country. Um, they're supporting, you know, just a lot of positivity. And, and, and they themselves need to, to earn their, their own living and be able to, to travel and distribute their craft and distribute their art and distribute our music. So. I, I, I am very optimistic that something will come out. Right? Big up Shaggy for, for making that move and everybody else that has pushed it. Um, big up the people working in the background that are not front and center, but are still trying to make things happen. Yeah, man. Big, big, big things. Mm. Yeah, man. So, so, you, so you enjoyed the clash from where, from where you were. Um, in, a, in a nutshell, who win the clash, Gary? <coughs> By Bambi, you know, yeah, get me in trouble. <laughs> right. To be, to be perfectly honest with you, I, I'm a little biased because I was kind of, you know, working behind the scenes. But I would yeah. tell you, I would tell you, regardless of whether it's football, it's cricket, it's business, it's clash, whatever it is, the winner is usually the one who prepares the most and the best, right? Yeah. And big yeah. up Kurt Riley, big up Beaterman, big up Richard, big up. Killer, I to me, what came out for me was that Killer and Richie D were prepared, and I actually can tell the public that they were prepared more than the public even knows. Because I think mm. what happened was they prepared so well that anything that Beanie Man did, uh, anything Beanie and Kurt Riley did, they were ready. They had an answer for it. They were, you know, they were alive. So it was, it was a, a, a case of. I mean, you've seen. The greatest of the great clashes along the years, Bambino, you and I have been mm. to them together. Mm. And I can tell you, um, you know, it depends what metrics you are using to, to decide a winner, right? But from where me, Gary Matalan, sit, I believe that Bounty Killer win on the basis that he was more ready. He was lined up himself. He was ready for a kill. And mm. I think, I think, you know, it might have caught Beanie and Kurt off, off guard a little bit. Okay. I think they were okay. there just to kind of entertain and have fun and hope that he never came yeah. with his killing, his killing ways because, you know, his killing ways are on... on you can't equal his killing ways. You can't match his killing ways. His killing ways are yeah. on another so, level. And overall, Jamaica, Jamaica for the win. Overall, Second. Jamaica for the win. I said overall, Jamaica for the win. 
Oh my God, hands down. Hands yeah. down, Bambino. Hands down. And, and let me tell you something. The versus clash, I just came out of the, 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 the versus clash a while ago. There were about 200,000 people. One, twelve of them was doing them thing. Um, yeah. People in the comments were like, yo, the production from Jamaica was better. Yo, the, 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 the clarity was better in Jamaica. I mean, I, I'm, sitting there, I'm sitting there watching the versus clash tonight that is going on. And the same Kerry Hilson yeah. is in there and Timbaland is in there and, and, and Swiss is in there and big up to them and God bless them and everything. But trust me, even the people inside that, that clash watching it, 200,000 yeah. people, are like, yeah. yo, the Jamaica thing was, was, was a different level. But they're going out with their thing, they're doing their thing, big them up. They might go on wicked. But here what happened now? I want yeah. to say also, the versus thing carry us to a whole other level, give us another level of exposure. You see what Walsh Fire is doing. You see mm -hmm. even your live Bambino. You see Richie yeah. D live. See Matter mm -hmm. and as much as he's getting dragged through the course now because he made some stupid comments. Like everybody, mm -hmm. they, 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 they um, the Jamaican vibe and the Jamaican culture is just carrying, it's just carrying, okay. it's just carrying. Okay, right it's like, yeah, it's like nothing can stop us. Nothing can right. stop us. And when yeah. you say Jamaica for the win, it's Jamaica for the win across the board. Like we just have so much to be thankful for. We are a different level of, of, of culture and a different level of, of energy. Yeah, man. All right. Well, give thanks to that, Gary, and you're very political in your answers um, to my questions. <laughs> Politically correct. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, I'm I don't know. Uh, well, that, that's, that's, that, it's a holiday. It's a holiday. So, you know, you have to drink. What are you drinking? What are you drinking over there? Uh, oh, yeah, I'll tell you, Roman Red Bull. Banana Red Roman. Bull. <laughs> <laughs> uh, big up to Red Rat. I see Red Rat online. I see, I see, um, a whole heap of people up online, Star. So, we're gonna talk to some people. So, people who for the one talk, it just link me up right now. All right, all right it's Gary. So, Richie was telling us that you were, um, like his serious cheerleader. I, I'm just imagining when Richie told you he was DJing for Bounty, what you said. You said a big bad word, a big bad word came first. And then you say, this is a mod! <laughs> something like that, right? Let me tell you something, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I, I heard the argument earlier, and Richie is right, because I think Richie, is, uh, Richie, Richie has so much potential, and Richie is, Richie is one of yeah. them, um, you know, underrated, because he's not, because of his personality, and because... Yeah, he's not out there like in the, oh, the, Richie has written some of the biggest bodies tunes, right? I heard what, what um, Mad White Jamaican was saying about the Clash. I heard what while she was saying about the Clash. I heard whatever all of them was saying about the Clash. I'm going to tell you the truth. The, 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 um, the vibe and the energy, it really just kind of underscores the, the, the talent that we have, right? And I was talking about Richie D. Richie D has written some of the biggest songs. And yes. people don't even know it's Richie D, right? I'm a Richie D in the dance, stand up alongside everybody. And they don't even know Richie right and produce. You know, you know what I think. What I think well, happened to Richie. What I think happened to Richie. Same goes to you, Bambino. But anyway, we talk about. Yeah, that man, give that. thanks. What what I, what I think happened to Richie is that you know in the late in the late nineties, early two thousand, he came up with all those hits, and um, they were banging. Faint rhythm. They have Scotch bonnet rhythm. They have holy parody rhythm where I go on punk, hot sexy punky, all of them rhythm there. You know what I say? But at the end of the day. Maybe in the, in the kind of, you know, say Rich is a promoter too. So he have chill, yeah. the party chill with Jazzy T, them and everybody. And, you know, Rich is always a person that know how to make it. No matter what, reach him, he know how to make it in our life. He just know how to reach where I reach and do where I reach. But I think, him, I think his true talent is writing and producing music. Me I think totally so. agree with you. Me think so. Because at the end of the day, when me and Richie sit down in a me and Richie can sit down in a car and drive go Ocha Rios and two song make. Just like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause it, 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 to me, yeah, that man. is him true, him true talent. So I, I feel said this kind of going give him a little a little boost for kind of like say, yo. Yeah man. I could run out upon them again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, and, I and, believe so. And we say it in joke, but they, 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 they talk of a tour, a 90s tour. With, and you're bringing Red Rat, you're bringing Spraga, you're bringing them yeah. on there. You're bringing Al Serrani upon the live, you know, too. 
Yo, you bring yeah. all them on them and, 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 and shut up the thing. It's some of the greatest, greatest, greatest music. Serrani at 2000 still. <laughs> yeah, Serrani, yeah, yeah, you know. Serrani, you know. have to go up on the, you have to go up on the keyboard. <laughs> you, 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 uh, Lana, you know what happened? You know what happened to Serrani, Bambino? A lot of yeah. people believe Serrani have one song or two songs. Serrani responsible for enough, enough, yeah. enough, enough, enough. Yeah. Big hit. He's a wizard. Big he's a like wizard. CD. You don't he's know. He's a wizard. Yeah, he's a wizard. You don't know. He's a wizard. You don't even realize it. And there's nice Delano. Delano's on the live. Delano's on the live. Let me see who else we can talk to on the live because I want people to uh, uh, yeah, so even out the thing. Can we get... We have to even out the thing. Because right now, you're the, you're, the, you're the second white man on the live. For the night, big, too much, so, too, too much mad white Jamaican for the life. Big up, no, we have two, two, big up, Raja yeah. B. So we have to even out the thing. <laughs> no, but big up, big up yourself and big up the family. Big up the family for me, Gary. The family, see boss, yeah. Hey, Where the boss, hey, see Uncle Bambi. Hey, 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 what's good? Hi, yo, a beer performance. She a performance. We're gonna write a song for you now. Wait, wait, hold on. See real boss, yeah. My boss, oh, I got my boss. Yeah, hey Tina. Bless up yourself. That's Tina. And that's Gary. Yes, and they're yeah. vacationing. They're vacationing this weekend. All right, Gary, we're we're up. Laboring. It's Labor Day. Yo, may I link up we'll link up tomorrow. We talk some different. You know how I talk them already. All right, General. All right, bless up. Yeah, what? Yo, I hate when Instagram says remove. 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 What about remove? All right, so we are, we, we are on the live. We are on the, people, you see who is on the live. Let me know who you wanna, who you wanna, um, who you wanna talk to, who you wanna talk to on the live right now. Cause I see crazy people up on the live right now. Uh, and yeah, you know son, I would have loved, I would have loved to talk to Sharon Burke. I would love to talk to Sharon Burke. I don't, she was on the live earlier, and I don't see, I don't see Sharon, um. So big up to Sharon Burke, um, big up to Red Rat, big up to Red Rat. But I love to talk to Red Rat like how we a 90s thing right now. You know what I say? Like how we a 90s thing, we have DJ Delana also. So we can, we, can, we can talk to Delana, we can talk to Delana as well. You see me? We can talk to DJ Delana, we see if Delano. Dalana, people them say them want to Spraga, but Spraga don't really like for forward on the live still enough. Spraga is a very, you understand? Spraga is a, is a very, a very, you a very, you know, different dude. When they're ready, they will go up on the live. You know what I say? Big up to Super Twitch. I don't have Super Twitch step on the live still, but I love to talk to Super Twitch um, on the live because Super Twitch is a youth where I always know everything. Yeah. One, one. T. Bambino. Delana, do not do not start walking around with your phone. Every time you walk around with your phone, the internet just goes. You know what I'm saying? All right, boss. Because every time I'm watching you on a live, I don't know if you have to use the bathroom or whatever. You always break up. <laughs> but on the couch right there, that's where you need to stay. I'm one place. One place. So I go and do it. Right there, they celebrate. The, the yeah, big night. We're still talking about it, you know. I see your, I, I see your song. I see one of your remix playing at the Clash door. Boy, may I tell you? Good yeah, good yeah. Good yeah. Good at least, at least. I was, I was very, I was very happy about that. After, you know. Nice. Remember, yeah. I said, remember, I said, if, you know, the four track machine where you used to make the remix them on. You know, me still have my one. Yeah. But 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 that dancehall queen remix was done in hit um hit factory in in, in New York. Oh, so we are trying to say you did upgrade them time there. No, I wasn't upgrade. They they, mm. they didn't wait till I fly back down to Jamaica to go on my four track. So they book a studio for me and then I did that remix there. Yeah. But so, so um what you thought about the clash? Um give you a summary of the clash. Yo, the clot yo, it wicked. I mean, I had a live to do and I Postpone the live. <laughs> Cause I, I Hello, Delana. Nobody would have been on your on your freaking live. Nobody would I'm, have been on that shit. Right. I'm right about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we like we like 
We like the scratching. We like the scratching. But guess who was on the live? She's on the line. She's on the line. Riri, okay? Riri. <laughs> Riri, all right? So you could have played all of your bone to remix them. <laughs> Yo, you, you weren't going to be that guy. You would not have been that guy that people are watching. You weren't going to be the guy. No, no, you know what I'm saying? But, but... I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> you don't want to be that guy. Nobody wants to be that guy because you see that guy? That guy is not the guy you want to be. <laughs> I mean, if you break it down, if you break down what Beanie was saying, you do not want to be that guy. I mean, oh. there's, so, there's so many things. You know, do you really want to be that guy was a question he was asking. You know what I'm saying? None of us, none of us want to be that. Want to be that guy? Because you said that guy is not a guy you want to be. But I, I think I see you run. I think I see you run too. You know, I think you're run. You know. No, I'm never running. No, I mean, I mean that. I mean that about the police. <laughs> a joke, a joke. Oh, Sharon is back. Sharon is Sharon is also back. Big up Sharon Burke. Tell her don't go nowhere. Before I go, before I go, you see. That police thing make, make, the, make the clash wicked at you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. The comments and how being a man deal with it and how when Bunty come back on and drop, drop whatever tune. Yo, the wicked. Yo, everybody did well, dog. The DJs, them wicked. The artists, them wicked. It was just a moment of just being proud of the culture because, as I said, the dance hall music. Is well respected and we saw the numbers, although it was five hundred odd thousand people, you know says about a million people. Cause you know this this live thing work already, right? Drop off and come on. I, I, oh, the amount of messages I get in from all over the world about the clash and the, the feedback on it is like they want more. Who is next? Who must put Shabba with? Who you must put Bushy with? Who you must put Spraga with? Who you must you know but it's up to, to us now to, to do something with this now because it's a, it's a great platform. We've got a great platform. The DJ, them perform. Yo, it's wicked, man. Wicked. I can't, I can't even say nothing about it. I can't say nothing bad about it. Well delivered. Mm. The great. production, the sound. All right. Big up way too rich. My rich friend. Clear sound, Richie. Mm -hmm. big, uh, big wall, right? Yeah, yo, big one. Yeah, Richie, 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 do him thing. Richie, do him thing. Richie, do him thing. Yo, yo, wicked man. The clash, wicked man. Big up the Sharon, Mama Sharon Burke. <laughs> yeah. Yo. All right. Bless up, bless up the Lana. And, and, and you know, say, um, Kurt Riley has said that he wants to do a, a 90s tour. So maybe you could get involved in that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Well, that would be great. Ready anytime, you know. Remember, we're supposed to be planning something. I don't link me yet in the band. All right. We're so ready for you. But it's not it's your moment enough. right now. Uh, Bambin, hello. Ba, ba. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Right. We're gonna give this. We're gonna give this moment to Kurt Riley and Richie D tonight. Yeah, of course, definitely. Yeah, man, cause them, them, we're really proud of them. Proud of them. You have Kurt Riley. I come up from Renegade. Come all the way up. Then you have Richie D from the Casablanca Miami days. It's not. Mm. It's not. It's not. No, you know, it's DJs from long yeah. time. I don't know. It's two. It's two. Appearance. There's two big time DJs out there. Bambina from Tampa. What's the song name again? Uh, ricochet. Ricochet song. <laughs> remember, yeah, say, hey, Delano, Tampa. remember, remember, Delano, remember, say, the first time you get a visa, you come to Tampa, I will come par, and I might sound string up in a stone of dance. Remember, I might sound string up in a stone of dance. And, and, um, yeah. and, 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 and Billy Slater call you up and say, this time Delano just getting visa and people, Delano busting up. <laughs> and the, and I, you did have you did have the Mad Lion remix. Too many suckers are not enough time. That that song there. Which you remix? Did have, you did, Mad Lion with him. Um, oh, too oh, many oh. suckers. But you did have here comes the yard step up on it and all kind of something. I just I I you come and you play three songs at the party and I scratch and the place mush up. Yeah. And yeah, do, yeah. and Doctor Dr. Dr. Dre did it too. And Doctor Dre hold the mic. But three songs alone sort of make you play. Yeah. Remember yeah. that that man. Labor Temple was the place. Yeah, see that you see. And that? look at look at you now. <laughs> you got your own couch and you got like some figurines on the shelf in the back. <laughs> you made it, bro. You made it. <laughs> Yo, lick a more. Yeah man, bless up my respect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Yo, no, may I have some fun tonight? May not lie. May I have some fun? May I have some real fun tonight? People, if you're just joining us, um, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be on the live. We just got him up because it's <laughs> like he wants to stay long Auntie, on the line. Auntie Sharon. Yeah, what's up? Walk one, walk one, girl. Nothing you tell me. I'm tired. I saw you on I saw you on Khalid's live yesterday and I got jealous. So I need you on my live today. Oh, okay. All right. Walk one. What's up? Yo. Nothing? Um Anyway, congratulations on putting a nice clash together. Thank you. Thank you very um, much. Every, and listen, I just want to clarify something about the yeah. policemen. Yeah. I think what happened... No. What happened is, I think they were passing by. They came to the door. They came to look. Hail up Beanie. Yeah. And I think everything was misunderstood. Oh, okay. hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Sharon. Mm -hmm. When you come into the venue... We have to come to remember there was a girl that wash up our hands under the social distancing girl. Right. And then mm -hmm. and then we have to go to another door and then mm -hmm. another door to get to the studio. So when mm -hmm. they came to the parking lot, um mm -hmm. what what was the what was the story? They no, just, what happened just... is there were some trespassers outside and oh. we were trying to tell them to leave. So I told the um I saw them come up, so I thought that they had seen because I didn't want any gathering at all outside. And then I went in to call someone to tell them, listen, these people are outside to you. And by then I saw them coming in and pushing the door. So I don't know what happened then. Okay. But obviously you saw it when Beanie started on them. They were so shocked and frightened themselves. Yo, the yeah, the they called to Beanie. Yeah, they called to him. Yes. And so they thought, you, you understand me? I think it was just a misunderstanding. You having a dance, police turn up, it's the lack of sun. But guess Yo. what? Big up to the Jamaica Constabulary Force, but I loved it when I look back on it now. All we needed <laughs> there was a peanut man. If I remembered, I don't know how that slipped me. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I you mean, a peanut man, trust me. It's part of the Netflix movie. That would have done well for Swiss. Yes, he said, yes, We're yes. talking this morning, and he said, China, how did we miss anything? I said, Everything was perfect. I mean, we have been get, getting global recognition, and I feel so honored and I feel so good to have been the local producer of this event. It was well done, I think, and it was well done. I mean, um, Tim and Timbaland and Khalid was on the live last night and Timbaland was saying, he was telling Swiss, gosh, I know, call her because they need to get clashing now. They're going yeah. too soft. But I think how Beanie and Bounty did it, they did a build up to the whole thing. And I of thought course. that was very yeah, good. Like, like, mm. an early jug like an early juggling and then them getting out of the hype time. Yeah, man. I thought that was very good. It was very, very good. So, so um, let me ask you: Did you link them and say, "Let's do a versus with Beanie and Bounty," or did they link you and say, "Yes, Let's do it? I did that." But Swiss said he was already thinking of it, and Swiss and I have been friends for like over seventeen years. So, when I call him, we speak all the time. So when I said he said, "Would they do it?" I said, "Yeah, let me ask them." And I mean, they didn't hesitate at all because we have worked with Swiss in the past. We work with Swiss. Swiss loves dancehall. Swiss has been to fully loaded. Yeah. Himself and Eve, they're good friends of mine and anything I ask them to do, among a number of them, like Wycliffe, as you know, and Shaggy, they're mm -hmm. always, they don't hesitate. They are always good that way with me. So it was so i think swiss loved the culture he has always loved the culture he has done work with bounty and he wanted to sign him years back so yeah. i don't understand it and he still wants to do dance all he's always he's interested in vanessa bling now he loves her music loves her style yeah so great but i have, a, I have, a, I have one also one question for you um mm. The, the other verses, a lot of them were done on the artist platform, like Babyface was done on his platform. And no, right well, I think we set a trend now because tonight, 112 and Jagged Edge and he's on Versus. I don't know how they're doing it. They did some link because what, what happens to 
they have a close relationship with Instagram. So it's Instagram approved. So they okay. know how to hook it up. Big time to failure wherever you are. She's the person who hooked up everything. Okay. So because I think that's just a trend last night of doing that. I know I tuned out uh, when Catherine called me. I was actually trying to listen to them and they were having technical difficulties. So, you know, they need to come to Jamaica and do their oh, verses. Yeah, uh, they need to Big up Sharon, to sell every Link time. Sharon Burke. Did, you... <laughs> <laughs> what what did, did, <laughs> did you sell what's good? I have to big up Did you sell. They were clean, clean, crystal clean. Yeah. So. Wicked, wicked. All right, so yeah. so we just we just we for big up Sharon and, and give thanks for for bringing us bringing bringing that to us. And let me ask you, do you think that you yourself would um continue this vibe with any other artists on on a, on a different platform? Um, yes, but to tell you the truth, um, Swiss goes all over the world with his radio station, you know, and this is what dance all needed to wake it up. To really right. make it have a vibe. And I think I wouldn't trouble that right now. Because that. I mean, Beanie and Bounty got over 150,000 followers in three or four days. Probably yeah, two more me, now. Do you know how much Versus got in three or four days? 500,000. 500,000. So we, Jamaica Bounty did and Jamaica we did that, that, but with the promotion of how Swiss did it too. It's yes, a hand yes. in hand thing. When people said Bob yeah. Marley did it, I think Chris yeah. Blackwell had a lot to do with Bob Marley, you know. So it's 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 a group effort, it's a team effort. Yeah. I could not have done that on myself. Fully loaded the most we have ever had is twenty thousand. This is five hundred thousand people. Five hundred thousand people online. You know what that is? We have never seen that. On, on the, <laughs> yes. A Jamaica. Yeah, that, we have never seen that. So it was probably more like over a million if you check it because people were going on and off. On well, and off. some people are saying 3.7. I'm waiting on Swiss to tell me the exact numbers. Okay. But yeah, man, it was, but it was yes, a good... When we get there now, then we can probably say, okay, it's time for us and Swiss come host for us. But I think the collaboration was good. It was a good synergy. Yeah, very good synergy. It was and, solid. And, um, uh, you said solid! You said solid! It was, it is, it was fully loaded solid. I'm going to play this sample for you. She's under the eye. Sharon Burke. <laughs> She's under the eye. Sharon Burke. <laughs> She's under the eye. Yeah. <laughs> no man, no man. But um but I know that I know that uh you've been doing a lot of work with you remember fully loaded twenty ten? You remember that fully loaded? I remember all and of them. You remember the time that, that was the first time Beanie and Bounty were kinda like being on the same show after a while mm -hmm. of feuding? Yes, yes. Remember that night? Yes. And they were yeah, on man, the and stage. It was great. They were and on it was the great, stage yes. And I was on mm -hmm. that fully loaded as well. And I had to run out and, and basically get involved in it. And I asked Beanie to sing a bounty song and bounty to sing a Beanie song. And, and the place, the forward, that guan, that night. Yeah. It was crazy. And this is literally like 10 years after. Exactly 10 yes, years after. Yes, that's great. That's yeah, so, so great. And I'm glad it happened to the two of them. Yeah, because it's two so. people that I love very much. Yeah. Two people that I respect very much, you know, so, so I'm happy for them. All right. So we need to have a meeting because Kurt Riley and Richard E was online and we're saying we're going to plan this big 90s tour with Bounty yes. and Beanie. And I will and, be the producer. And yes. And you will be the producers and you will. Okay. Love promoters. it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. You are going to link the promoters in, in all the islands and then we're going to do the 90s tour. I have a sponsor tour. already. I spoke to a sponsor already today. Yeah. And we have other yeah. artists on the live right now that we have a whole heap of other artists on the live right now that are ready to roll. So you just do your, do your thing and make me know what I want. Okay. Thank you, Bambino. All right. Thank Later. you, Sharon. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Yeah, man. Love Sharon Burke. Sharon Burke, you just got to love her. <laughs>